Hi, and welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Ham Ventures. I'm Morton, LB0 Fox India, and today we're going to talk about LoRa APRS with one of the small trackers, a Digipeter, and something else because. Well, as you probably have figured out, I like LoRa APRS. It's cheap, it's easy to get started with, and it's a whole lot of fun. And today we're going to talk about TNCs. And what's a TNC, you might ask? Well, for sure, uh, TNC is a terminal node controller. I'm not going to dive too deep into that, but it's a way of connecting to your APRS devices. I'm going to show two things today. First of all, I'm going to show how to get started on Windows, connecting to your Digipeter um, through a network TNC and using something called Pinpoint APRS. The second thing is I'm going to show you how to connect through your phone, in my case an iPhone, to one of these little devices without a GPS and make it a full functioning LoRa APRS device and tracker from that. So two things and let's just get started and take a look at Pinpoint APRS. And I'm going to start here on the web page for Pinpoint APRS here. It's a Windows application for, well, for APRS TNCs. And I'm um, not going to dive too deep into the web page here. It's pinpointaprs.com. I'll link it down below in the description so you can find it there. But I am going to show you how it works, how I've set mine up, and um, just to see what you can do with it. It's not going to be a deep dive today, as I said. It's going to be relatively simple. And uh, I'm just going to show the surface of this so you can get started and play yourself. And here we are with Pinpoint APRS up here. It's connected to my Digipeter through Wi-Fi. And there's a couple of different windows here. Let's start with the big one here, which is the map. I can get a map view of all the uh, LoRa APRS devices that I can hear. I can actually get an illustration of what my Digipeter hears here. So um, I am down here. Um, this is Oslo, which is the capital of Norway. This is the Oslo Fjord going out here. I uh, hope you can see my uh, pointer here. And on the other side here, it's the um, other side of the Oslo Fjord. So I can zoom in. I can look at different things I can hear. I can hear LB5JJ's TNC uh, here. I think that's his TNC. I can see that Mihai, LB9HI-14, he's out driving right now. I can click this and press tracking, and then I can track him. Um, let's see which other options I have. I can send him a message here. Um, I can center my map around him, uh, look him up on QRZ. And then we can take a look around here. We have a couple of Digipeters here. We have LB0FI-10, which is my Digipeter, which I am connected to. Let's just zoom in a bit further here. Um, I can actually not see myself here, so we're going to fix that. I'm going to go to Tools, Send Position Beacon. And uh, this TNC or pinpoint is set up as LB0FI-3. So hopefully that will show up here pretty soon on the map. Uh, I can also see my club's Digipeter here, LA9H-10. And here we can see LB0FI-3 is up here on the map. But this is all well and good but how do you set this thing up well i'm going to show you that as well and in order to set this up we can go to tools here and settings it'll ask you the first time you start pinpoint aprs it'll start you to go it'll, it'll start with you going through the settings here um it'll give me a warning now since i am connected to a tnc let's don't let's not worry too much about that i'm going to show you the settings this is the settings menu as you can see here, I am set up as LB0FI-3. I have my APRS path as wide 11, wide 21. This is good. I have my house because this is, of course, always at home. It's in my shack computer. Uh, no digipeating turn on because the digipeter figures that out itself. Uh, beacon every 30 minutes. Um, there is no GPS connected here. So this is just leave much of these settings as they are. As with TNC, you need to know one thing. You need to know the IP address of your device. And the network TNC will only work if you set your device up as a Digipeter iGate. Um, it will not work if it's set up as a tracker, uh, just so you know that. Uh, we're going to go through the tracker bit on a phone in just a little bit. Um, network KISS mode, 
Uh, you can see here a lot of different options. We're going to choose network kiss mode. We have my IP address here, which is 192.168.66. Uh, sorry, 6866, not that that's important to you. If you're wondering what your IP is, it will show up in the display of your DigiPeter. Or you can check your router settings. Port 8001, this is actually everything you have to set up. Uh, you can also set it up for um, APRS IS. I don't want to have it set up for that because I want to keep this um, just seeing what my DigiPeter can hear. And then we're back to the map. This is how easy it is. I can even send test message, text messages here. So let's try to send one to Bob. You can also see out in the uh, last heard window here, you can get all different um, info about it, the position, the path, the packet has taken and everything. Um, but we're gonna go to messages. We're going to inbox. We're gonna right click inbox, new message. This window pops up. We're gonna send that to LB5JJ. Let's see if I can type correctly as well. We're gonna making a video on how to use a TNC. We're gonna press send. You can see down in the communications monitor that um, it has sent the package to network TNC. And um, let's see if it pops up. Um, that's always exciting. Um, and that might and might not happen. We're not going to dive too deep into that. Th this might take a while. Uh, the package might not get there. There's quite a hop from me to, uh, to Bob here. Um, but there's also another option if you want to keep your tracker as a TNC. So let's uh, move on over to my phone and take a look at that. But hopefully this will give you just a quick impression on how to set up pinpoint aprs and use that with your windows computer and just before we go to the phone setup here i'm, I'm going to show you the settings for um, your eye gate in order to make this work um, uh, there's a couple of things you need to do in order to make this work and we're just going to flip down the settings here until we get to tnc you need to enable the TNC server. I'm running an old version of the firmware, so it looks a little bit different uh, in the other one. But um, enable TNC server uh, and um, accept own frames via, ki via KISS. And then it says server will be available at uh, port 8001. That's the thing you got to do in order to be able to connect to this. So uh, keep that in mind. You need to turn the TNC on on your DigiPeter and uh, enable network TNC. Um, that is everything you need to do on this end. So let's move on over to the phone now and um, and take a look at how the phone thing works. And we're back in the studio view now because what I'm going to use for the tracker is um, Haltech v V3 uh, node. It's one of the cheapest LoRa devices you can buy. It does not have a GPS, so it's it's practically just usable as a track or as a TNC. But that'll work well for the purpose we're doing here. And my goal here is actually to keep this in my car and just use a phone as my APRS interface in my car when I get to that point. Um, but let's um, get the phone up and running and uh, I'll show you on the phone what I'm doing there. And on the phone here, I have uh, APRS.FI turned on and the reason I'm looking down is because my phone is down here. Um, so let's go out to the map where everything starts. Uh, we're gonna press more. And I'm going to go back. Uh, then we go to TNC and DSP modem. Going to press select a TNC or software modem. You can see that it finds my uh, LoRa tracker. Click that one. And we're connected to the TNC. Then all the packages will start popping in here. Uh, what you see here is, of course, uh, packages received earlier on it. A um, couple more things you need to do. Um... We're going to stop tracking on that one. And we're going to just sort the map here. Uh, press the funnel icon and do not sort network. That way we only get what the TNC itself hears. That is important. And um, 
you can see that I see a lot of the same packages here. It's been running for a while now, so uh, we can see some of the uh, different stations here. Um, you can also do messaging here. I am just going to send a message to the um, to the APRS, uh, the pinpoint APRS on my computer, so we can review that message later on. Uh, so we're going to press the new message icon here. We're going to set that, send that to LB0FI-3. Um, and we're going to, down here it says transmit using automatic. We're going to use transmit using TNC. And we're just going to send test. Press send, and then we're going to switch back to the pinpoint APRS uh, window in just a little bit to see that that's received. And we're back at the pinpoint APRS window here now. Um, we're going to just go into the inbox. And got two new messages. Got one from Bob here, and that's received over APRS IS, not over RF. Okay, it went out to the internet to reach Bob here. Um, that's good. We still got the message though. And then we have the message I sent, and it just says test. Uh, we can also see the path of the messages here, uh, where that has gone. So this is a tool that gives you a lot of insights on how APRS actually works. And you can also see the map window here. And just a little while I've been doing other stuff, it's populated with a lot of different stations here. So this will show you in real time uh, how this works. Um, we're going to go back to the phone just a short little bit here because I am going to show you just the call sign settings and such in APRS IS and then we're going to conclude a little bit. And in order to do this, we're going to go down to the phone again. Uh, we're going to press beacon and uh, under beacon here, uh, you can set your call sign here. Uh, you can set your station ID. Uh, you can set your symbol and that's pretty much what you need to do and then your packet path here. Uh, I can also press beacon now and this is going to send a beacon and um, well it's going to show up on the map. So let's go on over to the uh, pinpoint map once more and take a look at that. Uh, let me zoom in here and we have the LB0FI-4 here. So um, that's pretty much how easy you do it. So what do you think? What do you think about doing APRS this way instead of the traditional way of using it through your device? I find this as a nice option, especially at home, to actually visualize what my, what my digipeter hears, uh, which gives me a good visual indication of the coverage area. It is also nice to just gonna, so you're just can leave a tracker in your car and um, uh, just use your phone as a device. It's so much easier to send messages and look at the data, look at the map, look at everything through your phone than in the tiny, tiny, tiny display of the uh, unit here. So um, yeah. Um, I got to give the TNC solution a huge thumbs up and thanks to LB5JJ Bob for showing me how to do this. This has been on my list for a while, um, but I haven't really figured out the quirks of it until Bob did a walkthrough with me. And I hope a little bit unstructured, but I hope I still got still gave you a bit of an idea on how to do this. So go ahead, go out there and experiment. I'll leave some fillet links for a couple of LoRa boards. Uh, the boards I've used for this, both for my uh, Digipeter and for the TNC tracker. Uh, I'll leave that in the description. Um, I'll get a little bit of a cut from it. Uh, it'll help run the channel and uh, you'll still pay the same. And I guess that's it for now. Don't forget to click that thumbs up button if you like this video. If you for any reason dislike that video, click that thumbs down button. That'll also help the algorithm and it'll help me understand what content you like and don't like. Do consider subscribing and I also have memberships available. Until next time, my friends, see you down the bands. See you in my next video, 7-3.